Craig and my son Nick is holding the camera. This is his 2000 uh, 330 E46 that we are about to start a project of building a race car for. Um, we decided we wanted to have a, have a shot at the BMW Car Club uh, Race Series Challenge, um, the 2020 series. So we're hoping to build a car which is going to be able to compete um, in Class D of that series. Um, as I said, it's a, it's a 2000 year model, so this car is now approaching 20 years old. It's got around 335,000 kilometers on the clock, uh, but it's been pretty well maintained in that time. So uh, in addition to the normal servicing and maintenance, you know, the things which are often left to go, like, um, you know, a couple of suspension bushes, um, etc., etc. Certainly the cooling system, all of that has been attended to. So the car really is very reliable and does tend to perform quite well. In fact, so much so that recently we took it down to uh, Pakisa Freeway uh, for a car club um, uh, track weekend. Uh, we uh, competed in some time trials and the car really did exceptionally well. Um, certainly no uh, issues with, with overheating, um, you know, nothing to worry about. We had the car on, on standard street rubber, so it certainly hammered, uh, hammered the tires quite uh, significantly. But really the only thing which, uh, which really showed significant um, wear and tear was, was the front brakes where we went through a set of pads um, on that single track weekend. Um, so yeah, we think the car's got good bones and should hopefully give us a really good foundation to build a decent track car. And our objective here is to try and build the most competitive car that we possibly can on a, on a really uh, modest budget. So we're not gonna throw a checkbook at this. Um, and it's not because we really know what we're doing either. It's, we, we don't have um, any experience in building race cars. So we'll be relying on the wisdom of those who've gone before us doing a lot of research, really finding out who the credible guys are, learning from people, talking to people, and then making sure that we make our choices very carefully to, to, to ensure that we get the most um, competitive car that we possibly can uh, within our budget. So just to, to recap the car, um, E46 is a pre-facelift um, model. It, it, was, uh, it was the sport version, so it did come with the MTEC 1 uh, bumper kit, uh, showing some of the signs of, of wear and tear that are consistent with its age. Um, I think it had a running in with a cat at some point. Um, the car does not have its original um, rims in it anymore. Uh, when it was purchased by Nick about four years ago, four and a half years ago, it was fitted with these aftermarket uh, wheels. Uh, they're not terrible. They're, they're certainly uh, not bad as far as um, uh, non-OEM rims go. Um, and, and yeah, then around the back, uh, pretty stock, um, except for the fact that the badge is missing. Some light-fingered character nicked that and thought that that would make for a good mantelpiece um, souvenir. So the car runs and starts. Um, other than the standard maintenance, the only real modification, if you could call it that, is a, is a decat. Um, this was really done uh, very much by a standard exhaust shop on Nick's instruction. Um, and it really has helped the car be a little bit more free revving. And it certainly sounds a lot better as well. Um, we do understand that uh, it, it's really quite dangerous to mess around with exhaust systems on these cars when you are running uh, stock um, uh, ECU and, and stock motors. A lot of guys like to make them sound really great. They start ripping out rear silences and things like that. And the, the, the conventional wisdom is that you go backwards in terms of power. Uh, this car certainly is as strong as any other um, of, its, of its type. Um, it certainly has uh, performed very well on back-to-back -back dyno comparisons with similar cars. Um, so the motor's good, the motor's strong, and certainly the decat, if anything, has possibly helped. It certainly hasn't made it go backwards. Um, so yeah, looking into the, into the cabin, um, all pretty good here. And uh, as you can see, 333,500. So, you know, well on in age. It's never been opened. Um, it's still pretty much original. Uses a drop of oil every now and again, but uh, nothing terribly serious. Um, yeah, it's got a nice, uh, certainly got a nice understated verbal to it. Um, certainly a little bit louder than stock, but absolutely no drone and nothing, nothing at all harsh when you're driving the car as a daily. Um, but certainly, it's a little bit more sporty when you do uh, the. Uh, yeah, nice, nice uh, basis to work from. Um, incidentally, we did have to do a gearbox change recently. Um, the, the old gearbox of Synchros went after a little bit of abuse um, following uh, a, a clutch stay cylinder failure. Um, managed to source a nice box and uh, it's working beautifully. We did the detent pins on those as well, so we don't have any floppy gear lever. Um, so from that point of view, powertrain wise, yep, stock standard but, but pretty solid. 
So going forward, um, obviously the first step you've got to do is deal with all of the regulatory issues that the car will need to be able to compete in the car club series. So the first of those is a, is a full roll cage, a uh, welded roll cage. So we'll be starting with a stripping of the car very shortly, getting it off to get the roll cage put in. We do need FIA um, classified seats and, and FIA six point harness, um, as, long as, uh, as well as a whole bunch of other requirements, of course, fire extinguishers and toe straps um, and uh, wired um, uh, nuts and things like that for anything that can leak fluids. So there's a lot of this, the standard regulatory requirements. Um, so that's obviously first, um, first port of call. And as soon as we've done that, we'll be moving into the first stage of the performance upgrade of this vehicle. And that really is going to be a focus on suspension. Uh, we believe that that's where the majority of, our, of, our, of, the, of the car's performance is going to come from. So we will be investing in, uh, in a decent set of coilover um, uh, springs and shocks and, and uh, obviously uh, semi-slick rubber and between those and the lightning of the vehicle um, we do believe that we should be able to get that first step up into getting this car to a point of semi-competitiveness and, and that's the foundation from which we'll build. So if you're looking forward to seeing how um, a couple of rookies um, with, with a good mechanical background um, can undertake a build project like this hopefully on a budget and hopefully get a good result then stay tuned have a look, subscribe to our channel and uh, follow, the, follow the journey with us and uh, we hope, it, uh, hope it's a lot of fun for you as, it, as we hope it is for us.